Hello everyone and welcome to your second royal reading here at Madwell Tarot and this is the serious part of the Jamaica readings that I'm doing today. It's the part about politics and of course famously when William and Catherine were on their Caribbean tour they had a rather awkward moment with the Jamaican Prime Minister Andrew Holness who out of the blue uh, sort of some people use the word ambushed uh, William and Catherine and told Prince William that uh, uh, Jamaica was moving on. It was ditching the Commonwealth basically. They weren't interested in being in the Commonwealth anymore and uh, because of past problems, unresolved issues and they were certainly not interested in having a British monarch as their head of state. And uh, a lot of people speculated at the time with some degree of uh, possible uh, proof because of a connection from the Parkles to the Jamaican Prime Minister. A lot of people speculated that some of that controversy was actually stirred up by or on behalf of uh, Harry and Meghan, who had just migsited at that stage. And it was always speculated that they thought the Commonwealth would be theirs, that Prince William would get a tiny little island and a little bit of another island as his, and they would have the rest of the world to strut about uh, with uh, security all the time and lovely holidays in some of those fantastic sort of tropical destinations. Um, and they would be the popular ones because of course biracial and all the rest of that. And of course the racism story played very badly in Jamaica. So Harry and Meghan uh, are seeming to be on the side of the Jamaicans and the Jamaicans seem to be quite charmed by them. And this is causing some thing of a stink back in Britain and calls by some reporters for their titles to be stripped by being seen to be so cozy with someone who has really publicly come out and been quite hostile towards the Commonwealth and towards the monarchy. So that is what's going on. I think I've covered everything. Uh, have I? Yes, I have. So we're going to use the Lunar Soul Tarot for this reading, a short reading, relatively six card reading. We're going to find out what they are up to there. And of course, uh, the other story is that uh, while they're there schmoozing and showing up at film premieres and talking to people who are quite hostile to the British monarchy, the king himself is in hospital. I think he's in hospital now, uh, could be mistaken. And Catherine, of course, recovering from very serious surgery in hospital. Um, so timing is terrible. The timing is terrible. So it's causing a lot of anger and upset, understandably, their behavior. So we're going to have a look at this. We're going to find out ooh, uh, what they're there. What were they up to there? I've already had the high priestess in reverse in my previous Jamaica reading today, which is someone that's up to something, trying to be secret and sneaky a little bit, in my opinion. Uh, so what are they up to there? What are, why are they there? Um, are they trying to um, outshine William and Catherine and say, look, that's the tower that's just shown up. Look, see, they love us because we aren't racist like the rest of you. Are they there to do that? How do the Jamaicans feel about them? How are the Jamaican elite anyway? Um, are they popular? Are they influential? How is their visit going to affect Jamaica and its relationship with the Commonwealth, the British monarchy going forward? And are there going to be any consequences for the park halls by showing up and doing this uh, rather controversial stunt? One more. So six card reading. Uh, are their titles going to be stripped? Are they going to uh, pay some price or are they just going, uh, going to get away with it? As seemingly they get away with quite a lot of stuff. Um, well, the steps have been taken to shut them down to some extent, but a lot of people say not nearly enough. Take them off the royal website, get rid of their titles, reduce them to Mr. and Mrs. I was going to say Wallace Simpson, but not. And uh, make it clear that they don't represent uh, the British monarchy in any shape or form. Uh, six card reading. We did say it's a six card reading. So uh, there we go. Um, Lunar Soul Tarot. It's a very woke tarot. That's why I'm using this one. And uh, we have the King of Wands in reverse as our underlying energy. That is um, somebody who's there for the drama and uh, um, rebel rousing. King of Wands in reverse interesting color that he is there. Uh, ones always represent the sort of the warm parts of the world 
um, travel, drama and theater. And the King of Wands is very charismatic normally uh, when he's upright, you would say, and uh, fun and engaging and vital. Um, and people do like to follow the King of Wands. It's in reverse. So as I say, there is a rebel rousing energy and I've forgotten my disclaimer. Let's remind you right now, it's very important because this is a serious topic, but this is just tarot. For fun and entertainment this is just my opinion or speculation i'm just reading energy and there is a disclaimer in the box below please read it form your own opinions about all of these things but that is the energy that is coming through in the king of wands that is the energy that is sitting under all the cards in this reading so when there is a doubt in a card that we see we have to go back and look at the king of wands and say oh yes that is what is going on so the situation that we're dealing with now, Parkles and their surprise visit, death, yeah, endings. It's King Charles as well. Uh, this is one in the eye to the king, in my personal opinion. Uh, absolutely. You're in hospital. You're old. You're the Scorpio King death card, of course. Uh, your, your time's up, mate. Um, and we are just going to show up here. We're popular. They love us. I'm surprised they haven't been on a sort of tour uh, with crowds throwing flowers and stuff. Uh, again, Wallace and David, Edward, whatever we want to call him, uh, visiting countries that they really shouldn't have and times when they really shouldn't have visited those countries. Germany. Um, so death card, endings, change, dramatic change. Um, we're talking here about really the end of the Commonwealth as a thing. The end of the Commonwealth as a thing and possibly even the end of the monarchy as a thing. I'm not saying that the monarchy is going to end, so don't get all anxious. I'm just saying we're talking about parkour perspective here in this reading. There's a really a sense of venom that's coming through to me in this card. My energy reading, my intuition is, is reading that sense of venom of desire to end, to bring down uh, both institutions. that are, of course, very much interlinked institutions. So why are they there? Are they there to cause trouble? Uh, are they there to make a political statement? Uh, what are their intentions in being there? Is it just to attend a movie premiere, which would be King of Wands upright, actually? Why are they there? What are they up to? And they are up to the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. He's shown up in that energy twice in this in this series of readings today. My Jamaica readings. Jamaica in, previous one. Jamaica out, this one. Uh, Knight of Discs in reverse. He's very angry. Harry. It's funny, I thought her energy would show up here. But it hasn't. And uh, he's had some famous moments in the Caribbean, racing uh, great athletes and uh, dancing with little kitties and uh, being so popular and uh, Rihanna and all the rest of it. Uh, it was his place, like Africa was his place. Um, he is very, very angry. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse Knight of Discs is a sour energy. It's a sulky energy. Um, it's somebody who's been blocked, who feels that their progress has been stopped. And I would imagine that that was the pro progress to co-regent. He and William, you get the tiny island and the little bit of the other island, and I get the rest. And no, actually, you're not going to get it. You can't be half in and half out. Off you go to California, boy. Go and play with making movies. He, he cannot get over it. I'm, I'm getting such a sense of grievance as I'm doing this. I'm getting upset and I'm not upset about anything right now, but I'm feeling aggrieved as if someone has done me a terrible wrong right now. They haven't. They haven't. Uh, anyone who knows me <laughs> might be watching this. You're fine. We're fine. Uh, let's move on. Is this a uh, uh, really tr to show William and Catherine up. Look, you failed in your tour and they hated you. And of course, Catherine, you're famous, famously racist, according to Omen Scobie's book. Um, whereas they're going to adore us and my beautiful biracial wife. Is it for that reason that they are there? And we have temperance in reverse. Again, again, this desire, uh, this rage, because temperance is... is a, literally good-tempered 
balanced, calm energy, harmonious energy. It's in reverse. The temper is off the charts. Uh, and it's to destabilize. They are there to destabilize, in my opinion. I'm reading energy, and if you haven't worked that out, uh, if you happen to be the machine that senses everything, I'm really reading energy, and I'm in the energy of rage and resentment here. Um, uh, it, it's, it's, it's desire to destabilize, upright harmony, fixing things, blending energy. You can see literally the energy is being blended here, the two cups, passing that energy between the cups, angel, wings. In reverse, it's the fallen angel, it's the devil, it's the desire to disturb and disrupt and cause distress. Again, who's in hospital? Both of them. So the people that are uh, hurt, are in hospital right now. I was going to look at that today. Didn't happen because Jamaica suddenly popped up on all of our radar unexpectedly. How do the Jamaican elite, for some reason, have kept it to the elite? Feel about Harry and Meghan. Useful idiots? Are they swayed by them? Are they going to install them as monarchs? We've got the page of discs in reverse. That's interesting. <laughs> I'm going to use the word that was used about them by the Spotify guy, Bill Simmons. Grifters grifters page of discs but it's come out in reverse page of discs is a money card obviously um, it is a contracts and negotiation card they're they're looking for deals they're there looking for deals we're talking here about politics more than movie deals the paramount guy that they were trying to cozy up to on the red carpet previous reading this one, political deals, uh, connections, influence, page of discs in reverse. This is again my opinion. And again, disclaimer in the box below. But I feel that they are perceived as a couple who are in need of some sort of status, some sort of deal. Make us an offer uh, and I'll accept. And uh, we know famously Wallace and Edward David keep showing up in these readings today. Uh, they were they were packed off to the Caribbean for a while, for a time, weren't they? Get out of the way, go off. Uh, it's lots of nice sun there, lots of parties, lots of rum to drink. And, uh, you can dance on the beach and do all the rest of it. And uh, stay out of uh, the way of the rest of us. And I'm not being disparaging to the Caribbean, I'm being snarky. Um, so... Uh, they're seen as people who would like someone to make them an offer. So they would gladly accept. Let's leave it like that. And you can reach your own conclusions about my uh, energy that I'm reading. Uh, so how are they going to influence things with Jamaica and the monarchy and the Commonwealth at all, if at all? Uh, the impact of this visit, is it going to have any impact on the situation? Nine of Wands... Uh, well, that is uh, someone making their last stand, um, embattled kind of an energy, the Nine of Wands. Um, it could be the Commonwealth because of the death card there. Um, that is not going to help, put it that way. It's not going to help. It doesn't mean that the Commonwealth and the monarchy in Jamaica are on their last legs and finished. Uh, well, they are kind of on their last legs. Death, uh, with the death card there, with this disruptor energy here, and the nine of wands, which is, I'm I'm embattled. I uh, I'm uh, doing my best to stand upright. I'm blow after blow after blow. That's the monarchy. Blow after blow after blow. Can I still stand? Well, I am still standing for the time being, but it's not guaranteed that it's going to keep standing. So it's ha they haven't delivered the fatal blow. Put it that way. They might have wanted to. But they haven't yet, my opinion. Uh, final card, are Harry and Meghan going to suffer any consequences themselves for having shown up and been so friendly with someone who was so uh, really awkward when William and Catherine were there? And uh, is there going to be any sort of, uh, I don't want to say punishment, consequences, recrimination, that sort of thing? for them or are they going to uh, glide on uh, without any consequences, uh, negative consequences. Knight of Wands, that looks like they're going to just sail on. Uh, but interestingly how this is played, uh, 
we've started with the King of Wands as our underlying energy in reverse, the Rebel Rouser as I called it. That's the energy that's coming. And we're down to the Knight of Wands. We've missed out the Queen of Wands. It's odd that she hasn't shown up. This is really about Harry. And it's not about her. The movie one was about her. She showed up as the star. This is about Harry. This is about Harry wanting to own the Commonwealth. This is mine. Uh, and he's been reduced from the rebel rousing King of Wands in reverse to Knight of Wands. So he's gone down two ranks uh, as his outcome. There is a tiny potential in there for a loss of title, a loss of status in the British monarchy. There is uh, just because of that, that jump down. But he's off on his lion, and that's the Harry and Meghan card. Of course, he's off on his lion to Africa. And he's going to go and try his luck there. So he's going to carry on. Nobody's really going to stop him, although his status might be um, de downgraded. So, you know, if he was flying first class for all of his life, he's down to cattle class now. Sorry, you know, you have to go and sit with the rest of the herd there at the back of the plane. Even though you're a pilot and a legend of aviation, a living legend of aviation, aviation to the back of the plane you go, Knight of Wands, but he's off. He's going to carry on on this adventure. The Knight of Wands travels, uh, goes to foreign climes. He's very exuberant. He's very reckless. He doesn't think things through. He blows in. He's hot and cold. He doesn't stick around. He's not going to stick around in the Caribbean. He's made his little bit of trouble. He quite enjoyed himself. You could see he was feeling quite pleased with himself in the photos that we saw, in the little video clips that we saw, and then he's off somewhere else. So that's the reading. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again tomorrow.